Rahman Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, peace and blessings be upon you, and welcome to is Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some prophetic quotes in his right by the Prophet of Islam, and then ending up with his unique and matchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, we are still talking about the prediction of Imam Hussein's martyrdom and whatsoever came right after it before his birth. Our respected viewers, among the famous stories concerning the fate of Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, which was none even at the time of his birth, is that of Fitrus the angel. It is recorded, however, as a narration from Al Imam Al Rida alayhi salam, from his father, from his grandfather, from his father, from the Prophet of Islam, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, who had said, Fitris was one of the high-ranked angels. Allah has sent him on a mission somewhere, but he has procrastinated. So Allah the Almighty broke his wings and threw him onto an island. When Al Hussein alayhi salam was born, Allah sent Gabriel with 1,000 angels to congratulate the Messenger of Allah on this birth and to inform him of the status of Al Hussein bin Ali. When Gabriel passed Fitrus on the way, Fitrus asked him, Where are you going? Gabriel replied, Allah has bestowed a son upon his Prophet Muhammad. All of the inhabitants of the world are overjoyed about this news. So Allah the Almighty has sent me to congratulate him and to tell him about the status of his son in Allah's eyes. Fitrus asked, Would you take me with you to the Prophet so that I can ask him to intercede on my behalf since he is so generous? So Gabriel the angel brought the angel Fitrus to the Messenger of Allah and said, Fitrus was one of the high ranked angels. Allah has sent him on a mission somewhere but he had procrastinated, so Allah broke one of his wings and threw him onto an island. And now he has come to ask you to intercede on his behalf. Our respected viewers, the Messenger of Allah, Allah's peace and blessings be upon him and upon his pure family, then prayed two units of prayer and which he supplicated right after. O oh Allah, I ask you by the right of anyone who has any rights upon you, and I ask by the right of Muhammad and his pure family to give Fitrus his wings back and answer the prayers of your Prophet and make this a proof for all of the worlds. So Allah accepted the prayer of the Prophet Muhammad and told him through revelation to order Fitrus the angel to touch the infant Hussein with his broken wing so he can have his wings back to him. Our respected viewers, the Prophet told Fitrus, rub your broken wing on Hussein's. Fitrus did as he was instructed and his broken wing was miraculously mended. At this Fitrus, the angel said, praise be to the Lord who bestowed his favor upon me through you, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet then asked Fitrus, where will you go now? He replied, Gabriel told me about the land upon which this newborn will be killed, so I have asked the Lord to appoint me as Hussein's Caliph over that land. Our respected viewers, thus in relating the story, the Prophet said, Fitrus is delegated to the grave of Al Hussein, and whenever any slave of Allah mentions Al Hussein bin Ali, or whenever anyone shows his love or support for his father, namely Ali bin Abi Talib, with his sword or his tongue, Fitrus comes to my grave and says, O purified soul, this slave, and he mentions his name, loves Hussein bin Ali alayhi salam and loves his father as well with his heart, tongue, and sword. Then the angel who is responsible for the salawat will reply to Fitrus, convey the salam of Muhammad the Prophet to this slave and tell him that if he dies upon this belief, namely the belief and religion of Islam, Fitrus will take him to paradise. Our dear viewers, from this event, it is plain to anyone with ears to listen 
and a mind to contemplate that the status of Al Hussein bin Ali as well as his martyrdom were none from the moment of his birth and even earlier indeed his exalted status was none even among the angels one of whom notably benefited from his intercession even in Hussein's infancy. What other human being occupies so far such a position and is graced with these qualities? Thus, when the name of Hussein alayhi salam is upon our tongues, we hope to receive the greeting of a messenger of Allah. We pray indeed to remain upon the religion of Wilaya, and we ask from Fitris himself to escort us and all of the lovers of Al Imam Al Hussein into paradise so far. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born, and when you were murdered, and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh